Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to your daily Dogecoin updates. Um, technical updates, we'll, we'll, we'll mix in some, some fundamentals here and there where it's necessary as well. Um, but overall, I think these daily updates are actually paying off quite a bit because all of these moves were... Like if you watch the videos and if you if you understood the videos, then all of these moves were to be predicted. All right. So what we said yesterday and what I've told you basically since um, since this level came up. Right. So, so we have a very strong support level just to, to refresh your mind. We have a very strong support level at 16 and a half cents and 16 cents. So what I said is that, all right, if we hit that level and we can actually get either a relatively bullish Bitcoin or some momentum for Dogecoin, then we can rally back up to our main resistance level, which is right here at 19.7. Now, what I also told you yesterday, and so far that's been true, but I do think that we, we still have a chance to really get a breakout here. What I also told you is that I did not think that we would actually break above that. All right, because ultimately to, to again, refresh your minds, because we've talked about this quite a lot, but ultimately what we want is to break above 19.7 cents here. So that we can break above that and then we are bullish again then we're we're moving up to 22 and 22 and a half cents and then we are purely technically in this range again instead of this range which is bullish so that's what we want to see and um and in general i, I think it's possible because like i said from that support level right here at 16 and a half cents we both gained momentum the momentum for dogecoin is actually going up quite nicely right now and Bitcoin was relatively bullish. It's retracing a, a little bit right now, um, but overall bullish, broke above 68,600 right here. So I do think we have a chance to actually break out, but again, it just depends, I think, on Bitcoin. And I'll tell you why, and I know that that's a very, very easy, easy thing to say, but from here, basically the most important level is, is 19 cents. Because that's also a, a key level we actually broke above already. There's there's a ton of different small key levels here. Um, so there's two scenarios. We either respect that level and actually form some sort of a bullish structure right here, break above 19.7 and get bullish. Or after hitting this resistance at 19.7, we will drop down below 19 cents again. And then we'll just drop back down to uh, 16 and a half cents, that major support level. So... What that depends on, whether we will find support at 18 and a half and 19 cents or whether we will actually uh, hold that level as support, it all depends on um, Bitcoin, I would say, <laughs> all right? Because Bitcoin right now, what's going to happen is that first of all, the Bitcoin dominance is pretty high and it's the weekend. So what's going to happen is that a lot of new money is coming into the market. That's going to make Bitcoin very volatile. And that's going to set the tone for the movement of Bitcoin. And the only way Dogecoin, Dogecoin can get bullish is if Bitcoin gets relatively bullish as well. So we need to see that. We need to see Bitcoin above 70,000, for example. If that's the case, and the open interest for Dogecoin is also still increasing, then Dogecoin can break out. Then we will respect 19 cents and break above 20 cents. But as, as long as I have not seen Bitcoin above 70,000, I cannot tell you that I think it's most likely. All right, so I have to stick with my with my analysis that I did in the last couple of days that this bullish momentum was to be expected, but that we will not see a major bullish breakout coming from it. All right, those are my thoughts. That's what I think for now. If anything changes, then I'll try to let you know, all right? Follow me on Twitter, for example, or on X. <laughs> um, follow me there, keep an eye out. I will probably give you an update on that, but uh, but for now, this still seems most likely. If Bitcoin becomes very bullish, this becomes most likely. But those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know for, for today. If you do have any questions, of course, let me know down in the comments as well. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.